firstly, I was so lucky to get Dakota. She is such a brilliant actress with such breadth and depth, and she's very funny, dryly funny. She almost has a British sense of humour, so we got on very well. But we had, you know, what I like to do with all my actors is sit down and actually do like a mini read through of the script. So we would read through the scenes together. So I'd read all the other parts, and and she would be Cassie, and sometimes I think we even switched. But you know, it was uh, it's a great opportunity to kind of really uncover what the story is and what the character's about in those moments. And that was probably the beginning of our great collaboration because we really started to get beneath the bones of the character and kind of really feel who she is and discuss the moments of clairvoyance and the journey that she was about to go on. Hi, sir. All right, I'm going to cut your seatbelt. <laughs> In the beginning, it was pretty scary about how I was going to do clairvoyance because it's not your obvious superpower. Uh, and then I thought about how do you show psychic powers, and I have no idea. I've never had a psychic or clairvoyant moment, but I did think about memory and the fact that memory is just psychic powers in reverse, right? You've just you, something that you've experienced, but you're recalling. So the memory doesn't necessarily come in a linear way. It's often a slipstream, images, a cacophony of sound. It doesn't quite gel. You're piecing things together. So that was sort of the inspiration is sort of my own memory. And I'd done a series where it was a, a lot about memory and flashback. So how to deal with that. And then the technique we use is because it felt so psychological and cerebral and therefore grounded, I wanted to make sure that we did most of it in camera. So I used a diopter, which I, uh, and sometimes a flashlight or a torch as we call it in the UK, and, and would sort of like slice that through the lens. And that would be used as a cutting point. And that cutting point, you would then reset it again, but with the actors being killed or being thrown or something horrible happening and then splice back. And so you would use this technique to basically, and then in the edit, splice together each of those pieces. No diopters the same. There isn't one clairvoyant moment that's the same in the movie. I think we worked it out there's something like 2,900 edits in the film. It is the most cuts I've ever had in anything, ever. Please, you are the only one who can change the future. I think what's so great about seeing this movie in the theatre is it is a the psychological thriller that will keep you on the edge of your seat, but it's also got some great action scenes. But at the heart, it's about these characters and connections. And there is an emotional through line to it, which I think is really kind of fun. And there's comedy. And I hope that they leave thinking they've had a really great time. You're showing off. Maybe a little. 